On Fridays, we like to take some time to highlight some of the people spreading love and kindness across Central Florida to see the good in our community. And today you'll meet two people with big hearts for some tiny humans. <laughs> Channel 9 anchor Martha Sigalski took a trip to the Winnie Palmer NICU. Martha, you learned about some passionate volunteers there. And I got some baby fever going there, too. I met some special volunteers who never miss their day at Winnie Palmer to spend time with and comfort the babies who are there. Come on. Don't you close those eyes. You've got to eat. A gentle touch. A soothing voice. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, now you're going to smile. Good job. Everybody has a passion, and babies are my passion. For several hours every week, for many years now, Peg Henderson and Richard Rapson volunteer their precious time in the NICU at Winnie Palmer Hospital. You're going to wake up. got to wake up. You get to fill in for the parents when they aren't here. Uh, they can't be here all the time. We come. We feed them, we change them, we take their temperature, we hold them when they're cranky, we hold them when they're not cranky. <laughs> and I love being with them. This is the, the people at church even know I say, Monday is my favorite day of the week. Many of these babies are in the NICU for weeks, if not months at a time. These volunteers provide a little love and kindness, filling in when families can't be here for these tiny patients. It makes the baby more comfortable. It makes the baby sleep longer. It makes the baby sleep better. It makes the baby eat better and gain weight faster. I think volunteers complement the healing of the soul and the spirit of our babies. Giving of themselves. It's okay. And getting a lot in return. It's okay, pumpkin. If anything, you feel like you made your time uh, fill, uh, filled with something worthwhile to uh, a person that's never going to know about it. It's been the difference in my life. I mean, I absolutely love it. Sleep tight. <laughs> This is personal for me because one of my triplets stayed at Winnie Palmer for almost six weeks. It's tough to be separated from a baby, and uh, I know what an important job that these volunteers provide. And not anyone. It takes a special person to do this kind of thing. You're exactly right. It, it takes a special person. It's not just holding the babies. You know, you help out with the nurses as well. And for Peg, she got involved because she actually lost a child. And in the process of grieving, this turned out to be her calling, and she says it has been the difference in her life. And a thank you to uh, Dr. Gregor Alexander. He led the team that took care of my triplets when they arrived, and I truly believe they thrived under their care. Everybody wins on that. The little they babies, do. the volunteers. Baby fever, baby fever. Uh-oh, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> and remember, if you've got a, a great story and if you want to uh, recognize someone uh, for their kindness that they are spreading in the community, I want to hear from you. Send me an email to martha.sagowski at wftv.com, and we want to get these good stories on Channel 9. Fantastic, Martha.